We're going to look at how to interpret a horizon, but also how to import a horizon. So what you would go here is to the Home window, Home tab, go to Windows, click on Interpretation window. It opens up over here, and I'm going to look at line BV06. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm going to do C, and um, am I going to do C? And if I zoom out over here, Okay, you can see here there's several strong horizons, so it's not super easy to see. So this one down here is the basement, here's the Echo Shales, and here's a Dollarite coming through. Okay. So how you would pick one of them is you would click here on Seismic Interpretation, click on the Seismic Interpretation tab, and then it depends, I'm going to go oh, on Seeded, okay hold on. Um, I'm going to do the third one here, seeded auto tracking. So what happens is you put points along the horizon that you know are part of the horizon and then it joins between them. I'm not going to do this super accurately. You should zoom in and make sure you get the correct um, reflector. Right now I'm just doing this quickly. So you click here and then I will do this echo shales, which I think turns up here because of deformation from the Cape Fold Belt. So I hold down shift on my keyboard and I click along where I think the horizon is. Um, I actually think with this data being so low resolution, kind of zooming out and doing a quick interp is actually one of the best options. And so you can see here, I clicked along and something I didn't show you. Okay, and you can see here mine is, my horizon is called White Hill, but yours will probably be a generic name. How you change it, you click on settings. And then you click on info here and you can change the name over here. Okay, and so once that is done, you can see at the bottom on the left-hand side, it exports your horizon, and it's, so it's created this interpretation folder, and under here um, is White Hill. So if you want to export it, you can either highlight all your horizons. I'll just show you here that on this seismic section BVO, oh, this is 05, oh, sorry. I, this should actually be, sorry, on BV06, let's just take that off. Um, I'm just going to open another interpretation window. There one, I'm going to put BV06. 06C, that's what I meant to have on. And if we zoom out, Okay, I finally got it right. So it's seismic section B, B, O, 6, B. Um, and these are different horizons that I've interpreted. So this is the basement, echo shells, and these are three dollarites that I'm picking up strong horizons. Um, ignore this blip here. And so how I would export it is I would highlight all of them. I'd right click, I'd go export multiple items. I'm going to change it from being a seismic horizon to being a 2D interpretation. You can see you can change the format. I'm just going to keep the first one here. It's a Charisma 2D interp line. You can change where you want to save it. Um, you could change the coordinate system to do the same as the project. I'm happy with what it is. And I'm going to click Save. And it'll. Um, I've done this already, so I'm not going to click Save, but you would click Save. And then how to enter these horizons. So if you have no horizons on your screen, you would go here and you would go Import File. And you can see here are the, the different horizons. Obviously, I, I could probably go save them all under their correct names. You can see this is this weird format you want, two, three, four. Let's just see, are there five of them? I exported five horizons, so one, two, three, four, maybe I'm missing something somewhere. And so what you would do is you go down here, make sure that you've selected Charisma 2D Interpretation, and then click on one of them. Let me double click on this number two here, and you can see it's loaded it in over here. If I click on it, um, that's the one that's there. This is the one that I've just loaded in, and so that's how you import the horizon.